Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick is Node.js easy bec uh, because it's written in JavaScript so let's get into it well let's start and say something first and foremost this might just be poor wording but Node.js is not written in JavaScript it's just a runtime to run JavaScript and the actual implementation is built in I think it's C and C++, it's C or C++, I don't recall which one, but I'm pretty sure it's C++. Anywho, the actual runtime, in other words, Node.js itself, that is executing code, is executing JavaScript code. Just to kind of get that out of the way first and foremost. So that, that's the distinction we want, want to make here. And as for whether or not it's easy, that is a tricky thing to kind of answer. It depends on what you mean by easy. One of the biggest challenges a lot of people face when they start looking into it doesn't have to be Node, but just in general, the JavaScript ecosystem is that there's quite a lot of stuff going on. I mean, for a lot of languages, you have this fairly well established ecosystem of things that you can do, and it's not all that it's. Uh, it's less diverse. I mean, in the world of JavaScript, you have so many frameworks and libraries. Uh, I mean, it's almost impossible to keep, tra keep track of all of them. And that is, for most people, the thing that overwhelms in the beginning of things when they try to go into Node and JavaScript in general. Other things that is a little bit tricky with it is to, well, it's a very similar problem that you have in Ruby and you also have in PHP where there's a culture around a certain way of development and that is not necessarily the thing that is most in line with the sort of development that you would expect from somebody who does this at a professional level. Now what I'm saying is that it is possible to learn really good strong skills that correlate over to enterprise level development from Node.js but very 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 few people who are teaching Node.js either have an understanding of these things or care or most likely they simply focus on other things it's um, it's a bit of a letdown I will actually argue that the best Node.js developers that I know of are people who started out with C-sharp or Java and then went into Node.js, ideally with a few years of experience. Because the benefits, and that's the, that's the good part when we ask this question, whether or not this is an easy platform to use or an easy way of development. If you have done extensive development in something like, say, Java or C-sharp, at least I thought so when I made like when I switched over and started using Node more and more. I felt that I mean for a lot of stuff when I don't really need the sort like I, I, there's a time and a place for everything and JavaScript and Node.js allowed me to write code very quickly and it was very easy to set up. It's like there's a ton of stuff that I felt was a lot easier to do in Node than it is in almost any other platform. It's very it's very convenient for a lot of stuff. At least that's what I think. And although that may not be true for everybody, once you have, at least in my experience, once you have learned the basics of how this works, and ideally when you get to actually know how the ecosystems work, it's actually not that tricky to maneuver around within all these tools and honestly, you have access to so much and you can do so much and there's so much diversity so I will say that I will I mean that's how I feel I would gladly trade that upfront di diversity and complexity for the benefits that come with it because I mean today it's very rare apart from work related stuff where I don't use Node for almost any, everything that I do because it can fulfill pretty much all the requirements I have for web development. And many cases if I want, I mean if I wanted to it could do even more stuff like that. It's likely that if I were to make a desktop application I would do something like Electron for example. Unless I need something very specific of course. 
So I think that uh, overall, it's a very easy, it's very easy to do the basics in Node.js. It's a very easy platform to get started with, and doing just JavaScript development in general will be very beginner friendly. The tricky part comes when you try to go from the bare bone basics up to more serious development, because that gap, like that part, there is a little bit tricky still. If you just want to stick with like the basics, or if you want to go into exclusively say front end development, it's I would say it's pretty, well, it's critical if you want to do front-end development that you understand JavaScript. But I would say that it's a very, it's a small, there's a very small gap. It should feel fairly straightforward for you to do that, I hope. So what I want you to take away from this is that although Node.js is by no means like the easiest programming platform around, I would say that it is on the easier scale like it's on the easy scale when it comes for beginners to get into development. The dangerous part with it and the thing that usually gets a lot very complex is when you want to be a little bit more serious about your development. If you're just looking for the basics, it's straightforward, fairly straightforward. But once you start asking the very tough questions like what should I learn for job purposes or what, how should I write my code to like, be able to work at larger companies, which tools should I pick, is this tool better than that and you don't really know this stuff, that's when it gets really tricky because it's, very, it's a very diverse ecosystem and quite a little bit of the Wild West, if you will, where there's tons of people who are either, well, I don't really have all that much, much experience from working at a professional level and they will talk to you and I mean they, they're promoting their ideas like everybody else so it's, it's tricky to find good teachers. Some of them are really good and some of them are not so good and it's hard sometimes to make that to understand the distinction. So that's the tricky part at least from, uh, from, from my perspective. But the good part is that with Node.js you can do pretty much everything you want within web development and it's very easy to get started. Have a great day!